Kentucky Derby Museum is that I want to show consumers how, you know, what what their personal preferences and, and taste result in a bottle. Like what what can they get that is suitable to what they like. A maker's mark is one of the greatest examples uh, that I can provide someone. Is is that it's it's sweeter than a lot of other bourbons. It's, it finishes on the front of the tongue, and it has a completely different flavor profile than Four Roses and Woodford Reserve. And the reason why is is that it has it's a what we call a wheated bourbon, and much like wheat and rye bread are differently, uh, a bourbon with a wheat as a secondary grain is going to taste much differently than a bourbon with rye, and so my classes will illustrate the differences between a weeded bourbon and a rye bourbon. And then we will go over to what I consider to be the new age bourbons, and that's something like double oak, which is finished in a new barrel, in a second barrel. Uh, this trend has been going on pretty heavily now for the past 10 years. And this is the one of the first products that came out as a full line extension of a brand that be finished in another barrel. And so what we have here is we have a tasting of uh, a traditional weeded ma mash bill and a traditional uh, rye mash bill. And then the new age bourbon that is finished in another barrel. So I'm trying to show consumers that although you can't find it on the, it doesn't say weeded bourbon on here anywhere, and it doesn't say high rye bourbon on here anywhere, what the labels say are about the history of the product and uh, the alcohol percentage, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm trying to help them break through what's on the label and in the bottle.